fuck till I caught my phone at me, I start like this. Let me show some, catch up and I spot all I blow some. Right there, shot a nigga, you don't know nothing. Nigga keep on saying he ass, I come through that, these niggas ain't no nothing. Nigga tell them boys, they let me know something for I fucking blow some. You should tell them boys, they let me know something for I fucking blow some, like on Vine. I don't want any red credit shit, but I'm just having fun. You the type to live out high school popularity and having fun. Nigga always talking crazy, but these boys ain't having guns. You ain't gotta have a gun. <laughs> All right, what is good, YouTube? I do apologize, y'all. First things first, I want to say I'm sorry, guys. I have been gone from the channel for so long. I think it's been about two months. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't have any excuses for you, to be completely honest. All I can say is that I've been lazy. I haven't posted on YouTube at all. I have kind of been struggling with what, what to post, like content-wise, but I do have stuff that I can post. I have a lot of clips to post for you guys. I want to apologize for all my subscribers. I haven't been consistent at all. I've been gone for a minute. I'm here to tell you that I'm back, though. I honestly mean that. Uh, there's just so much opportunity. My channel has been growing a lot. I want to thank all y'all that have been watching my channel, supporting me, liking the videos, watching the whole videos, everything like that. I appreciate y'all, man. So much room to grow, and you don't get better if you don't post. I won't grow if I don't post. I can't reach my goals if I don't post on YouTube. So I'm back, guys. In this video, you're going to see a lot of like random stuff. It's been so much stuff that has been done to the car that I haven't posted, but I've been meaning to make a video on everything that I've done individually, but I haven't. In this video, you'll see a lot of stuff like I have a muffler delete now. You guys didn't see that last time. I'm also stage two plus. So now I have a high pressure fuel pump and a flex fuel kit with an ethanol sensor uh, from MHD. Also, did an oil change. Right now, guys, I will be honest with you guys, the 340 is down. So the, the car is not drivable right now. I tried to do my first oil change on the BMW and it didn't, didn't go good. It didn't go good at all. Long story short, whoever did the last oil change on it, they stripped one of the last threads. So the drain bolt on the engine oil pan does not tighten. It goes in, it screws in perfectly fine. But when you go to torque it and tighten it down, it doesn't tighten. It just spins in place over and over and over again. You can't tighten the engine oil drain bolt on my car. So the oil pan got stripped. I tried retapping it, that didn't work. It's the last thread that, that just, it's the outer thread at the bottom of the pan where you go to tighten the bolt. It's it's no it's no fixing that. I need a new engine oil pan. The engine oil pan for the B58 for my car is about $1,000. So right now my car is down, guys. It's not my fault. I tried to do maintenance, keep up with the car, do an oil change. Whoever had it previously or whatever dealership did it, they didn't do it right. And of course that means you'll leak oil which I can't have. So the car's in the garage jacked up. But as of now, here are some clips, guys. Once again, I do apologize for everything. Like I said, I want to get back to posting. I want to get back to doing what I love, making videos, making content, growing, getting subscribers, showing y'all, you know, showing y'all my lifestyle and what I like to do. Cars, man, this stuff is everything to me. I love cars. I want to be successful with this. I want my channel to grow and explode. I want to drive cool cars. I want to be around fast cars. I want to build fast cars. You know, I want to own fast cars. I want to have a shop that can modify and work on fast cars. This is my dream, y'all. Making YouTube videos and getting a big following is my dream. I want I want that for myself. I want to be a good driver. I want to start getting into drifting and tracking all the cars that I own and stuff like that. And obtaining more cars and stuff like that. I want content for you guys. I have so much plans, so much in my head, so much I, I want to bring to vision and bring to life. Um, with that being said, I want to thank God for everything I do. The Lord comes first. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for everything you do in my life, Lord. For anybody watching, get right with God. I can not say me personally, been struggling with my walk with God. So just guys, whatever you do, get closer to God. He can help you in many ways. In all ways, he can help you. Um, 
And that way it's way easier to chase your goals and get to your dreams. But too much talking with that being said, let's get into the video guys. Uh, here are some clips. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, YouTube, so welcome back to another video. This man Christian got me here at the shop. Uh, which one do you want to cut? Do you want to cut this one or one of these? Um, I think this one, because this one got the valves and it's the loudest one. But yeah, eventually I want to get all this shit. Sí, quiere, quiere hacer esto, you know, Solo este. So basically, y'all, I'm at the uh, exhaust shop with Christian. So they're looking under the car to see what they're gonna have to do to it. Of course, I still have stock resonators um, and a stock muffler. Only thing I have exhaust wise is a catalyst downpipe. So this car's gonna get a lot louder. I'm honestly ready for it. But today I'll probably just be getting rid of the big muffler in the back uh, with the valves, get rid of those valves and shit. Cause like what if he cut from uh, like that resonator back? It's cause from there, the material, that's what they're charging. It's cause the material, the pipe is expensive. Actually, if you cut from all the way back there, dude, and you brought a pipe, they're gonna charge like 500 bucks. Oh, uh, where are they cutting from? Like right by the diff? Yeah, right there. Yeah, the people that have the I'll let this nigga talk me into this shit. I guess I might keep the valves. If you guys can see in there, the valve is open. So they cut the muffler right there and gonna make a white pipe and they cut off both tips. Big ass, fat ass muffler. Tell them I wanna keep the muffler too. Hey, I probably just got a lot lighter too. Look at these tires, man. Put these on, I think these would be good. More traction. Make my shit straight, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> All right, YouTube, they are just about done getting the uh, exhaust finished for me. Hopefully this is a lot louder. I do have to go to the bank. You know, my Mexican dudes, they only take cash. So, Christian over here being a simp. Look at him, look at him. Look y'all, look, 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 look. FaceTime this girl, look, 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 look. It's like, hey baby girl, what you doing? Like, how do I look? How's my hair? You know, right, baby? I love you, girl. Look at his ass. <laughs> Look at his ass. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna steal you guys for a little bit. Someone's having fun over there with his uh, brand new little muffler delete. That shit sounds pretty good, though. Sounds badass. So, we're gonna get some rollers for him real quick. See how this goes. Yeah, guys, look at him. He's having had. He enjoyed it. That shit sounds crazy, guys. This sounds fucking good. That's what we call sexy shorts. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> that fucking hurts my ears. I think it's been almost two months since I posted. 
Also, thank you for tuning in to this video. Today, we definitely got something in store for y'all. Um, it's going to be good, man. So, if you guys don't know, this car is already... Uh, this is a 2017 BMW 340i that I own. Um, this car, it's basically loaded out. It's a base model 340, if that's what you want to call it. But has every package besides M Sport. The peanut butter interior, technology package, driving assist, all of that shit. This 340 right now, currently, everything done to the car. Front mount intake from Burger Motorsports. VRSF Catalyst down pipe. I'm stage two, not stage two plus, but today's video we will be stage two plus. But right now, just stage two off the shelf MHD map. Uh, I have the XHP transmission tune. I, I tuned it to, I tuned the transmission to stage three. Uh, and then I also just have a wheel and tire setup. I'm uh, running some Koenig wheels. And then uh, the tire I have, the car is rear wheel drive. Uh, the tire I have is a Nitto NT555 G2. I do spin a lot, so this tire is not cutting it for me at this point. I was looking at r triple eight, but I will have to go with like a 295, which will rub. Um, so I'm probably gonna either do, if not uh, roll the fenders, do r triple eights or Go with a Mickey and change the wheel size in the rear. The car is also on lowering springs, guys. I hope I didn't forget nothing in terms of updating y'all uh, where I've been and what the car's been like. This is the MHD Flex Fuel Ethanol Sensor Kit. Ethanol Sensor, whatever you want to call it. And right now I'm waiting on UPS to drop off my uh, Fuel It Stage 1 High Pressure Fuel Pump. So I've just really been trying to get this car dialed in. That's like the last thing I need. So after these mods, I'm, I'm basically like pushing the stock turbo to its limit, almost. Because I see every day these B58s are crazy. People are making 600, low 600s to the wheel uh, in terms of horsepower um, somehow on a stock turbo. So I'm not just going to say it's maxed out yet, but with a Catalyst down pipe, stage 2 plus tune with a high pressure fuel pump, ethanol sensor. I mean, th that's that's basically like all you can really do. In terms of a stock turbo i'm really gonna have to cut this video <laughs> i'm gonna have to chop this video down why am i talking so much anyways like i said we're waiting on ups to drop off the high pressure fuel pump but i'm just go ahead and start installing this uh flex fuel sensor i'm about to disconnect the battery and then yeah we'll get started i might even have to take my shirt off for this install ah! all right youtube so um we got the battery disconnected um, the negative terminal is off. Got a microfiber around it. Got this around the trunk so I don't accidentally close it. Then we go up here. And I took off everything for the most part. Here's my high pressure fuel pump. We're going to be getting ready to change that out. I'm still waiting on UPS. And yeah, we're going to install this flex fuel kit. Here's my DME. So the flex fuel kit has to plug in through the DME. Alrighty, YouTube. So, um, I took this wrench right here and I did loosen the high pressure fuel line off of the high pressure fuel pump so now the pressure is fully relieved in the whole like high pressure system on this side i release this so basically how this uh ethanol sensor works is it's just a loop so it loops through like this fuel line right here so it just takes an extra pit stop basically to go through this ethanol sensor and then you plug this right into the dme right here Look who came to join me, YouTube. It's that boy Christian. The BMW twin right here. I swear his car sounds so good, y'all. Ain't seen this man in forever. Bro, your car sounds so fucking good, bro. Alrighty, YouTube. So, me and Christian successfully got the ethanol kit installed properly. Uh, everything's plugged into the DME in terms of like a piggyback type thing. Uh, the ethanol sensor is right here with the high pressure fuel line and everything. Connections are tight. We check everything. Tighten back up that high pressure fuel line over there to the fuel pump. Uh, this is connected to the ground for power and everything. So we'll know if everything's working correctly. So right now I'm gonna have Christian watch it and we're gonna make sure no fuel squirts out from nowhere. I'm gonna connect the battery and see what happens. All right, you ready? 
Everything's plugged back in. So, car is in accessory mode. Make sure no leaks. You got on glasses, I don't. She going dry. And all this is here. Everything is, seems to be working, y'all. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Damn me. I'm talking about it. Alright, you good. Oh yeah, the no electronics, leaks. yeah. No leaks. no leaks, y'all. We're about to put AJ on that E40 sauce on E97. Stage 2 plus E40 with some good E. On some E97, not that Arco bullshit. Not that Murphy's. I'm talking about that race rock. fuel E. Race fuel E. Alright, y'all. So. We in the car. We got everything put together. UPS is taking so long to deliver my high pressure fuel pump. But we did get the uh, ethanol sensor kit installed. Right now we at Rock Auto. So it's the secret spot, y'all. They got some good ass fuel. They got full on race fuel here. They E is crazy. They E is normally E like 90 or higher. Like that type of E. Like, And the prices is not bad, bro. So let's do it. All right, y'all. So we're going to test the E. First, you got to start with water, then pour gas up to here. Uh, we're going to shake it up and see what the ethanol comes out to. Time to test it, y'all. To sit it down for y'all. So we gonna leave that up there. All right, y'all. So we strapping in the motherfucking E right here. Y'all probably can't even see it, but strapping that shit in the seat. Uh, this e ethanol is very high. It's like it's above E95. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I don't know if y'all can see, but that's above E95, which is wild. So this is the place to go. This E85 is crazy, bro. Yeah, bro, this shit worked it. So, we just got back from the, uh, getting E85, as y'all saw. Literally, I'm not making this up. For some reason, I didn't get a fucking text message from UPS. Uh, so, now... We're opening up this box because this is the fuel pump. Oh, Damn! Look, y'all. So here, 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 we have a high-pressure fuel pump from Fuel It. This bitch is big. So this sits right on the camshaft and turn that motherfucker to pump that fuel. It's a big-ass fuel pump. You niggas is in trouble. Y'all better run from the 340. Run, nigga, run. Run while you can, nigga. We're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. Go stage two plus. I cannot wait with the flex fuel, MHD analyzer, ethanol kit. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. I hope y'all happy, man. I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone for so long. Subscribe to the channel. These are gonna go super fucking slow. Taking it off the cam shirt. One, two. Three, four. We gotta go. One, two, three, four. four. Uh, be careful, cause it's spring loaded. And it's on its own cam load. Okay. Right. Basically, it's ready to come off here, so we're gonna pull it. It's still warm. This shit is still very warm. So I'm gonna grab a towel, pull it straight out, and here it is. The OEM high pressure fuel pump. Got oil on the inside and shit. There's the camshaft right there. Probably can't see it because of the light. But in there, that's the camshaft. That's where it sits, guys. So yeah. This shit is warm. This shit is very warm. This bitch does his job though. It's the booty one, guys. 
So this is to make sure everything's centered so you don't mess up the spring because again, these are very, very, very they sensitive. Have to be perfect, Literally. Oh, this is a gasket right here. I'm surprised they didn't supply you with a gasket to replace that. I don't really need to Oh, uh, we, oh look, actually they gave you. Did they give me a gasket? They gave you lube. Maybe lube for the gasket. I don't think that's for the, uh, for the, the spring loaded piston part of it. Not for the uh, gasket. Because the gasket just has oil around it. You want to put lube on top of it. Mm-hmm. Because I'm. Alright guys, so we have been stressing. Look how sweaty y'all got in. We have been stressing because something that they didn't inform us on when you buy the fuel it, specifically the fuel it high pressure fuel pump, is the fact that you have to bend the line itself. Yes, it's a hard line. We've been battling with this for at least like an almost an hour. Be the way again. Uh, we don't recommend going with the fuel it. Get the Dorch. Get the Dorch. Yeah. I'm tired of Burger Motorsports and fucking fuel it. Y'all fucking suck. Stop doing shit like that. Y'all don't include. Y'all don't include no directions. Neither one of y'all. This front mount intake. Look, I got fucking zip ties right now. Why? Because the OEM screws don't fit. And y'all didn't provide me with new screws. Y'all didn't provide me with instructions. Y'all didn't put that in the description. They don't fucking fit. They don't work. They strip every time. Here on a fuel pump, fuel it. Y'all fucking retarded. Y'all didn't tell us we have to bend this hard line. This is a solid fucking piece of metal. We over here just bend this shit. It's 110 degrees outside. Fuck both of y'all. Yep, so this is what we've been fucking dealing with this whole entire time. We went from using a fucking big ass pipe wrench, using that wrench. What you want to eat, baby? I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's mad because he's alone. All right, bro, you didn't have to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So, got everything working now. Line's all bent. We got the last fuel line connected. Everything's all connected now, looking pretty. We'll worry about wire management. And everything afterwards right now I'm gonna connect the battery yeah no leak on the lines stick your finger underneath the fuel line right there mm -hmm. yeah under so we want to check right now nothing all right Josh. so he's back to simping again so thought i had a cameraman anyway uh we gonna go ahead and tune this y'all we gonna go to it's just not focusing but okay Anyway, flash a map is what we're going to press. Go down here to stage 2 plus high pressure fuel pump. Press options. Because we need to... Okay. You want me to pick you up or you want to... Are you enjoying my house? Alright y'all. Right now we're tuning the car. All the codes and engine lights are popping up and shit. But it's going to clear in a minute. Almost done tuning. Uh, everything's all good to go. Now I'll just wait. Just a second. Alright. Go out there real quick. I'm going to turn on the car. Just make sure everything's good, bro. Let me know if I need to turn this bitch right off. Alright. You ready? Yup. Alright, y'all. So, we're going to go ahead and turn That B58. Alright, y'all, we finally fucking got this shit good. Let's go! Alright guys, so I filled up. We did get the check engine light to go off. We were having some problems. The ethanol sensor wasn't working. But as you can see, I'm tuned for E40. My ethanol content is at 41%. So we're going to get a couple runs and then Christian got to go. 
Yeah. Bro, this shit feel faster already. Me and Christian out this home. Hey! Christian! It's all you. I, I'm not using anti-lag, y'all, so... I'm not using no anti-lag. I'm just... Feel me? I'm just running it. We logging all of this too. Nigga. This shit feel crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. This shit feel crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. Nah. My car is on a new level right now, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm in Sport One. The car is doing all the work for me. It's upshifting and downshifting for me. I can see my ethanol content. <laughs> this, this car is, bro, this shit is ridiculous, y'all. Y'all don't understand, bro. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. This car feels insane. Oh my gosh. Woo! Shit! Woo! Ugh. Yo, this car is crazy, gang. Damn. I'm Lost control active. Spinning like a motherfucker, too. Man, this car is so crazy, dog. Spinning like crazy too. This car is insane. This car is crazy. Look how bro looking at me. Yeah, he turned his head real quick. Nigga, what you staring at? What wrong with him? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a launch, boys. What a launch. That was insane. That was crazy, buddy. I could have swore I saw the police. If that's the police, I'm out this bitch. Oh, we out. For sure. It's Big Brooklyn. Word is born. What am I does, nigga? This shit crazy, gang. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, B. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, B. This shit is crazy, bro. We gonna do one more launch for y'all. Y'all, y'all boys, ready? All right, this is the last launch. Then I'm going in the house. This shit crazy, bro. This shit is crazy, gang. This shit is crazy, my nigga. Like, what is my mother, nigga? Let me calm down, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Launch control. to get out of that real quick. Nigga was spinning too bad. All right, y'all. I'm gonna end off this vlog. I'll probably catch y'all later, bruh. Shit. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is outside, though.